Come and sit down, we've got a video to film. Me? Yeah. Yeah, we've got our work done anyway, haven't we? Right, let's film this then, eh? What are we filming, Grubbit? Just just talk nonsense for 20 minutes or something. Oh, I've, I've tough. <laughs> I'm nonsensed out. Hi. Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here in Dad's workshop. Uh, we've just stopped work for yeah. 20 minutes. Uh, just have a chat, really. Uh, we've not had a Pistons the Podcast official for a couple of weeks because it's been really busy. Um, this is this is today's Pistons the Podcast. Where's our bench? I don't know. Where's Tool of the Week? <laughs> <laughs> tool of the Year. Um, go and find a tool quick. We'll do Tool of the Week. Oh, you know, put me on the spot there, Gromit. Yeah. In your own time, like. Loads of folks will know this one. Got one? Ah, got a tool. Right, tool of the week then. If you know what this is, comment down below and we'll reveal at the end of the video. Oh. Bring it back a bit. We'll, we'll put a bit in the video here where people can see tool of the week. Blue point, you got 175, 2, 175, 150. There you are. Tool of the week. If you know what it is, let us know in the comments below. Right, it's been a really busy week in the workshop. I've been really busy. Let's uh, have a catch up about this, the Smart 450. So what have we done? We have done, in the past couple of weeks, uh, front shock absorbers and springs. Uh, how did that go? It's okay, wasn't it? It was yeah. all right, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's actually changed the way the front of the car sits. Were they knackered? They're serviceable. So why, why is putting some new ones on made a difference? It's giving it a bit more lift, isn't it? Yeah, so we did a test on the new ones and it, yeah. sort so of it's a bit it, more it's springy. Better, it? it's made it Those a million times old better. springs we threw away, are they in this box? Yeah. Those There's old springs from the front. Ones front what were wrong with them? That's, that's the back one. Oh yeah, that one's broken as well. So these were only, what, nine months old? What were wrong with them? I don't know, they're rubbish. Just crap? Yeah, I think so. That's the back one, mate. The ones you want is in that other box. Oh. <laughs> Those are the ones we took off the back. Right, these are the ones off the back. We'll have a look at them in a sec. So these are the ones off the front. Yeah. What were wrong with them? Just no good. Just there must have been. Because that's, you know, bent it's, as a banana. It's, it's sort of like... Uh, Look at they, that. They've sort of bent... They've, they've sort of bent out, haven't they? Well, springs normally go back, but these didn't. Were they fitted right? I think so. Yeah. So the front springs are off. We've got some new, they're just new flat springs. Putty, aren't they? Yeah. No oh. good. Rubbish. I don't know where, was they real cheapo eBay ones? Yeah. Just cheap. I think it was like 17 quid each. Yeah. As much use as something to a budgie. Yeah. So they were no good. They've been replaced. Shock absorbers have been replaced. It's, it's unbelievable the difference it made. And then we've done the racks as well. Yeah, so there's the back. Broken one on the back we didn't know about. Broken even. spring on the back. And then these were the shock absorbers the on the shock back. shock absorbers. They were fairly well shot, they were, weren't they? Uh, they yeah. Are, there's there's yeah. no resistance in they're, that. They're, they are buggered, aren't they? And the... Bushes was going bushes anyway. Bushes are no good. I reckon they're the original we've taken off. Yeah, of course they are. So yeah. 20 years old, we've taken them off. Yeah, yeah. Jobs are good, and so it's the smart it, car. It drives a lot different. It does it? drive a lot different. Um, we put an exhaust on it as well. Uh, we've got some more work to do on the smart well, car well, though, mate. because what have we noticed? Well, we've got a bush gun in the front lower arm on the near side. Yep. And there's a roll bar link gun on the near side. So we're going, we're going to do both like roll bar links. Yep. And we're going to put that new lower arm on. Ah, that's rubbish. That is. It is, isn't it? No, it's not. It's, it's worse now than what it was. Yeah. So it's, it's nearly stopped. Yeah. That's how I feel this morning. <laughs> so we haven't wasted our time and effort. So there's a video out of, coming out about how we fitted them. Yes, that's on the way. So, so the control arm on the front. Yep. Anti-roll bar links. Yep. And then we've pretty much done the car. Until the next thing goes wrong. New tyres. Yes, new tyres. That's next. That's, yeah, then you can start blowing it up. <laughs> so that's the update on the Smart 450. 
Let's go through what we've done as well this week. So we've done the Audi TT Coupe. Oh, yes. It's had a new suspension. No, it hasn't. It's had a new steering boot. Yeah, that's all it did. That's done. It needs new shockies on the back. Yep. We'll put that to the one side because it's not essential. It's passed an MOT. Yep. Um, the shreds are gone and it's getting muck in the shocky. Yeah. It's making them weep a little bit, just th- a bit damp. I think I'm going to put it up for sale. What's it worth? What somebody will give you for it. That's the issue, isn't it? Audi TTs at the moment are dirt cheap, as Jim the also and uh, Sean Hudson has proved this week. They've bought a TT Roadster 225 for 900 quid <laughs> off eBay. Now's the time to buy one. My neighbour still hasn't sold his. No. Uh, for 1,500 quid. Roadster, full service history, 70,000 miles. Now is a bad time to be selling TTs. What's but a worth? good time to buy. It's definitely a good time to buy, but I, I don't need any more encouragement. Um, so the TT is probably going to go. Um, what else have we done this week? MR2. Yeah. The Toyota MR2 came out the garage. We did some work on that. The suspension issue we had at the back is fixed. Yep. No issues. Uh, it's been through an MOT. Yep. Pass, no advisories, winner, winner. We're going to go to the MR2 40th anniversary event, national meeting. That's on the 2nd of June at Hatton Country World in Warwickshire. If you're going, I will be there as long as it's not raining. Um, what else have we been working on this week? That's it, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You've been helping me move furniture about. That's yes, about it. the front room project is done. Let's talk about stuff that we need to do and upcoming work then. So the Smart 450, the works that we've talked about. Yep. We've got some hinges to fit on the Smart 451, yep. the Night Orange. That's a job that needs doing. We're going to do some rust proofing on the Fiat van. We've got a wiring connector to fit to the we've Fiat We've got a van. wiring connector to do on that. And then the Audi A4, the green one, is due for an MOT. I've booked that in. It's next Monday. Oh, right. Uh, No, it's not. It's the 3rd of June. So it's two weeks. We've got two weeks. Good. um, To do that. I don't envisage there being any problems with the A4. I bet you the brakes are seized up. Probably. Because it hasn't been anywhere since you got married. Oh, Christ. That was two years ago. Mm. It hasn't been anywhere, has it? Nope. It's been nowhere since October 22. God, time flies when you're having proton fun. Okay. And then we've got to tackle another Audi A4. You had a busy day. (laughs) Which is the silver one, which has got to go. Then we've got the Nissan Micras to sort. It's a better car than that blooming green. And And talking of Nissan Micras, let's talk about Rustaval. Rustaval 2 is happening. I quite like the thought of just getting that one on the road and taking it to Rustaval. Which one? The Redden. Really? I just like the thought of putting a sump on it, doing the brake houses, putting some tyres on it and taking it to Rustaville. Because it is rusty. Well, let's do it then. It's what, the, the Red Micra? Yeah. You want to get that out and on the road? Just, yeah, but not restore it. Just get it roadworthy. That's a brilliant idea. I think... And it take it to Rustaville too? because yeah, it's rusty. I like that. Comment down below. What do you reckon? Because I was going to say, let's take the yeah, Rover 75. To, we've got to get it transported here, though. Now, I've got a trailer, haven't I? No, that's the idea. Yeah. We can't do it at your house. It's too tricky. It's too tricky working at your house because we've not got the stuff we need. I'm shocked by that. You are suggesting, well, just, just to get it in my head, and I think maybe I'm, is, Maybe I've just been taking drugs or something. I think this me? is a great idea. So, Rustaville 2... Yeah, when is it? August, September. September the 28th. As far as I can see, what it'll need, it needs new brake houses. Yeah. It might need some brake pipes. Yeah. I bet it's not posh rotten. Uh, I bet it's not. <laughs> if you haven't watched the channel... There's no sump on it. If you don't know which car we're talking about, it's my very first car, which is a 90... No, it's not. It's a 2000 plate Nissan Micra K11 flame red yeah. sport one litre engined... You said hard life. ...beast. It didn't have a hard life when I when you bought me it. No, it's no mileage. I've owned it since 2007. 2007, and it's been sat up in the garage since 20... It's nearly been, it's nearly been off the road 10 years. Mm. Um, it's one of the things that I've kept in my collection. Because it was my first car, 
and I'm emotionally attached to it. I've been everywhere in that car. I had my first bump in that car, as in uh, knock. Been all over the place. Been to Scotland, been to Newquay, been to London, been to... Lake District. Lake District. I've been everywhere in that car. And I can't remember the mileage now. It's just over 100,000. Yeah. But I had 24,000 miles I'm on the clock. I'm not sure what it got on it, but it was real low when you got it. When I bought it. Okay. Comment down below then. Is that what you want to see us do? Is that what you want to see us take to Rustaville? We just make sure it's not posh rock. No, I I'm going to throw thousands of pounds at no, it. No, 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 no. Concours we edition. We have got a, we've got a sump ready for it. But the issue is, I've chaved it up a bit. Well, you'll have to unchave it then, won't you? Are we going to unchav it mm. and put it back to concourse, or are we going to yeah. leave it as, as, as it is? 18 year old <sighs> me had it. Yeah, leave it as it is. Complete, okay. complete with the aerosol front wing. and. Let's do it. Awesome. Okay. If it's, as long as it's not posh rotten, I don't think it will be, because it wasn't. And it's not been sort of out in the wet, has it? The wings are blebbed. Are they? Yeah, that, that, the back rear wing. Yeah, the wheel arches have gone. Wheel arch is no good. Yeah, that's not mumming rotten, is it? I'm, I'm talking about sills and the cross member. There's only one way to find out, isn't there? Cross member's not a big job, is it? <laughs> Fine. You know the cross member, isn't is it? Let's do it. So, rust of all <coughs> two, then. Nissan Micra, my very first car. We'll oh. get it out, we'll get it on the when, road. When is it for? September? September. But, mate, it hasn't had an MOT for ten years. So? It's only a little car, isn't it? <laughs> you could change the body shell on a mic on a, on a on a blooming Rover Metro in a week. Well, the good news is I've got tons of micro spares, <laughs> and I've got two micros in the garden. No, you can't rob them. <laughs> them okay, good. That'll be the next one. Then. You're going to sell them micros into the fast food delivery circuit? Mm. Oh, I'm probably not. No, let's not do that. <laughs> okay, so that's a, yeah, fine. We've got a sill to put on a Rover 75. No, it's just a sill repair, isn't sill it? Sill repair to put on the Rover 75. Mm. Armstrong Sidley, is that coming out this year? No. No? No. You don't fancy really it? horrible old thing. Uh, and of course it's festival and exceptional, um, of which the Proton Black Knight has been invited back. Again? Again. <laughs> Why is this then? <laughs> do they like it? Yeah. <sighs> There's a lot of work to do. Mm. Good job you're retired. Mm. Just trying to think. Who's going to be at the Festival of the Unexceptional this year? Who's the big celeb people? Uh, it is uh, car yourself, pervert right? Johnny Smith. Oh, is it? Uh, Smith and Sniff, so Richard Porter and Johnny that's Smith. That's serious driving, isn't it? Johnny Smith? No, that's, oh, that's no, no, Johnny Smith, the bloke who goes in, but... Undoes. Barn finds. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah. So, so Smith and Sniff Ooh. are going to be there they're the big on the boys stage. Issue, they're, right? the, they're the famous folk. Yeah. And of course, Hubnut will be there. Steph from Our Driver Classic yeah. will be there. John's uh, dad will he be there. Who? John's dad. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, John's dad's going to be John's dad will be there. We're going, are we? I don't know, are we? I think no. John's dad will might, he might be there then. <laughs> What's John's mum say? <laughs> wow, that's the problem. Oh, oh, but we're taking the Black Knight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I've been invited this morning to take the Black Knight. So, so when is it? July, I believe. Might be able to take the Red Metro, my, my Micro. I'll take the Red Micro. <laughs> if you think we could take the Red Micro to Festival of Unexceptional, it is and it'd be on the road by then, I'll be impressed. I reckon I could get the Red Micro on the road in a week. Challenge accepted. New sump, new exhaust, new tyres. New exhaust? I bet it'll need an exhaust, yeah. New brake hoses, some brake pipes. Yeah. Well, I've got a week off in June. <laughs> the first week of June, I've got off. That would impress your mum, wouldn't we'll it? We'll get the micro Spend out. a week doing the micro. <laughs> Watch this space, Engine though. out, subframes off. <laughs> no, because it could turn into a very expensive restoration, that, no, that no, car. No, no, it just wants to put in... It wants recommissioning. I haven't seen it for ten years. I yes, you have seen it. Well, yeah, but I haven't seen it, seen it for 10 years. Not been out the shed, has it? It's going to be rotten. I bet it won't. <laughs> You're more uh, excited about getting the micro out yeah, than me, I think. But good car, better than this blooming trash. The smart cars. Yeah, that micro will outlive this. 
I don't know how I feel about getting the mic out. It's All right, we'll nostalgic. leave it in the No, we'll get it out. We'll get it out. But there you go. So the series on the micro is coming. It's got to do, isn't it? <laughs> Micros, yeah, proper car. They are the best car in the world. In fact, actually, I did a um, poll on Twitter and on the YouTube the other day about which version of the K, K uh, of the micro was the best, and the K11 won on both. Mm, bound to do. I've got one running today about Corsas, which is the best generation of Corsa. And you can't say Corsa A, because that's the Nova. And that, I've done it, it from B, C, D and E. It's Corsa C. It's got to be between the B and C, in my opinion. That's me listening for the timing chain. B and C, B and C, B and C. Good. But it's okay. the sort of thing you can mend, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Corsas fill up with water because all them gaskets d dry out at the front and then the footwells get full of water. So what are we prioritising then? The Micra? Prioritise? No, we need to prioritise getting this fixed. Yeah. Then we need to prioritise getting the A4 through an MOT. Yeah. Then we need to get that Micra out then. But it's going to be in your garage for a while. No, just leave it out there. Mum will be really impressed. Can't stay out in the rain. <laughs> it's got to do. It's rustable. Fine. So those are things that are coming to the channel. Those Probably. Are, <laughs> potentially. Those Maybe. <laughs> are the bits and pieces we've got to do. Uh, before we go, before I go and pick Mrs. John Cooten up from work, mm. um, tell us about Tool of the Week. This is for restoring damaged threads. It's called a thread file. Oh, there you go. Yep, not thread file, thread file. And you just put your thing, bolt across the button and gently reshape the threads. Loads of folks will do that. I bet not many people use them these days though, but it's an old fashioned thing. Good. If you said thread file, which is difficult to say with my teeth. There was uh, a thing on the blinking interweb and somebody said, oh look at these strange things. What are these for? And it was a set of feeler gauges. Oh, because people don't use feeler gauges anymore perhaps. We used them when we did the Rover 75. What did we use them for? Checking the spark plug gaps. Yes. Checking the head level. Yes. Checking the warp on the cylinder head. You do when you're doing engines, when you're checking the ring gap. There you go. You still don't, even if you haven't got any points to set, you still use sealer gauges. So if you said thread file, <laughs> congratulations. Oh, I can't say Thread it. file. Thread it's file. Fred, if you're in Boston, you'd say it's, it's a thread file. Thread file, it? mate. It's a thread file, mate. Kid. <laughs> Fred uh, Farr Kidder. Fred Farr Kidder. Okay, good. That's it for this little update. Thanks for having a little chat. What, what are you doing now? The front things Well, when this? you turn your back, I'm going to get it fixed. Yeah, yeah. fine. Um, <laughs> if you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up, please. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Comment down below. What do you reckon to the stuff that we've said? What would you like to see us prioritise? Are you excited for the Micra for Rustaville 2? How much is that going to cost me? That's going to cost me a lot of money. You're going to sell a car. <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks to everyone that supports the channel. Um, I'm going to come around with a bucket later. The microfund. <laughs> no, don't do that. That's not fair, skanky. You're as bad as that bloke who gets plants for free off your mum. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great day. Whatever you're getting up to, take care. More to come. Goodbye. Fred File. If you've enjoyed this video, I've selected a few more specially for you on this page. Click either side to select them now. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button to always stay up to date with the channel.